Yeah. Cats and babies. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa, what's your name? Rick. Rick. And what's your name? This is the bad thing you're lying on. Oh, I'm trying to talk to you. So it's, um, it's an 11 year old boy and sort of meant for that age range. Um, but you know, parents have to decide how comfortable they are with violence because it's a zombie story. Right. But I've tried to use tension instead of violence because I know that's a concern. So it's not like that gory. Like um, mostly he traps them or tricks them or runs away from them or he slips them up with things. And so it's sort of like Home Alone in a way. Oh. Ernie, um, Ernest Hancock called it Home Alone with Zombies. <laughs> and um, it's sort of accomplishing three things. One is uh, Max was raised by libertarians, and so he has this very strong libertarian ethic. But he's also his dad was a prepper, and so he like learns how to use survival tools. And independently, as an unschool kid, he's a scientist, and so he has this very scientific mind for his age. And he's into like figuring out how the zombies work. Yeah. And um, I have a three book deal. This is the first book. And um, know, it's been fun. And so it's um, awesome. it spawned off like merit badges too, which are free for kids if you want some. Max is a is a pork scout. He's a porcupine freedom scout. That's where he learns a lot of his survival training. Yeah. So I've made what I what I'm calling action badges, which are things that kids accomplish. They get a button for. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Mama, I'm thinking. Um, no. I think I might think you want to try. Yeah. Yeah. There used to be a monster in this book, yeah. and if we fight someone, they're changing. The what? All the shirts are twenty. With the exception of the orange ones are 30 because I buy a hoodie yeah, yeah, for a homeless person. Sorry, yeah, every uh, big one not bomb shirt that sells, I buy a hoodie for a homeless person. And I love monsters, yeah. so the monsters. Uh, okay. Even real ones. Well, that was pretty cool.